Welcome everyone to Legends Memories. Today we gather to remember those we've lost, honoring their legacies with heartfelt words. As we reflect on the lives they lived, let us celebrate their strength, compassion, and the love they shared with those around them. Though they have left us, their spirits continue to inspire and guide us. Please like, subscribe, and stay in touch with us as we continue to honor their memories and share these meaningful stories with you. Chadwick Stephen McQueen was born on December 28, 1960 in Los Angeles, California. He was the only son of legendary actor Steve McQueen and Neil Adams. Chad grew up in the shadow of his father's immense fame. He carved his own path in Hollywood and beyond. From a young age, Chad developed a passion for acting and racing. Two things would define his life. In the late 70s, Chad began his acting career. He appeared in films like The Karate Kid and its sequel. While acting was in his blood, he found his true passion on the racetrack. He pursued a career as a race car driver. Winning several championships, he became a respected figure in the motorsports world. Chad's life wasn't without challenges. He endured the pressure of living up to his father's legacy. He faced the dangers of racing head-on. A near-fatal crash in 2006 forced him to retire from competitive racing. He never lost his love for cars and speed. He shifted his focus to producing films centered around his passions. Chad McQueen passed away on September 11, 2024 at the age of 63 in Palm Springs, California. He left behind a legacy of perseverance and passion in film and racing. He is survived by his wife, Jeannie Galbraith, and their children, including Stephen McQueen. His life was a testament to following one's passion. Kenneth Charles Cope was born on April 14, 1931, in Liverpool, England. He became a beloved actor in British television, known for his memorable roles. One of his most iconic performances was as Marty Hopkirk in Randall and Hopkirk DCs, where he played a ghostly private investigator. The show gained a cult following and cemented Cope's place in TV history. He also gained fame as Jed Stone in Coronation Street, a role that made him a household name. Cope's ability to move between drama and comedy showcased his versatility. His career extended to appearances in Brookside, where he played Ray Hilton, and as a minor member of the Carry On film series. Cope's acting career spanned from the 1950s to 2009, leaving behind a wealth of performances that touched multiple generations. His talent and charm on screen made him a favorite among fans of British television. Kenneth Cope passed away on September 11, 2024, at the age of 93. He is survived by his wife, Rennie Lister, and their three children, including Martha and Nick. His legacy as an actor continues to live on through the countless characters he brought to life on screen. Stephen Pete was born on March 10, 1980, in Princeton, British Columbia. His talent in hockey quickly became evident, leading to his selection by the Red Deer Rebels, third overall in the 1995 Western Hockey League draft. After playing for several junior teams including the Tri-City Americans and Calgary Hitmen, Pete's professional career began in 2000 with the Portland Pirates. In 1998, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim drafted Pete 32nd overall in the NHL entry draft. However, he made his mark with the Washington Capitals, where he played as an enforcer from 2001 to 2005. Known for his physical style and toughness, Pete became a fan favorite in Washington. He later spent time with the Carolina Hurricanes before retiring in 2007 after several seasons in the American Hockey League. After his hockey career, Pete faced significant personal struggles. He battled substance use disorder, post-concussion syndrome, and homelessness. His challenges culminated in a 2015 arson conviction marking a difficult chapter in his life. On September 12, 2024, Stephen Pete died at the age of 44 after being struck by a vehicle. His legacy is one of both triumph in his hockey career and the personal battles he fought after leaving the game. Joe Schmidt was born on September 12, 1965 in Koakoa, New Zealand. His career in rugby coaching began with Bay of Plenty in 2003, where his tactical brilliance quickly became evident. His talents earned him assistant coaching roles with the Blues and Claremont Auvergne, where he further honed his leadership skills. In 2010, Schmidt took over as head coach of Leinster. Under his guidance, the team achieved remarkable success reaching six finals and winning four trophies in just three years. His ability to motivate players and devise winning strategies earned him widespread respect. 
Schmidt's greatest achievements came when he became the head coach of Ireland in 2013. During his six-year tenure, he led Ireland to three Six Nations championships, including the 2018 Grand Slam. Schmidt also guided Ireland to their first-ever wins over New Zealand, and in 2019, the team reached the top of the world rugby rankings for the first time in their history. Joe Schmidt passed away on September 12, 2024. His legacy is that of a coach who transformed teams and left an indelible mark on the game of rugby. His contributions to the sport will be remembered by fans and players alike. Frankie Beverly was born Howard Beverly on December 6, 1946, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the early 1970s, he formed the band Maze, originally called Raw Soul. His life changed when he moved to San Francisco and met Marvin Gaye, who helped Maze rise to prominence. Beverly's smooth baritone voice and soulful stage presence made him a beloved figure in R&B and soul music. Mays went on to release nine gold albums, establishing a dedicated fan base. Despite never achieving massive commercial success or major awards, Beverly and Mays continued to perform to sold-out audiences for decades. Their music became iconic in the realm of classic soul, making them the best-kept secret in the industry. Beverly's connection to his hometown of Philadelphia remained strong. After 50 years of performances, he gave his final concert at the Dell Music Center, where he had performed many times throughout his career. His contributions to soul and funk left a lasting impact on the music industry. Frankie Beverly passed away on September 11, 2024 at the age of 77. His legacy as a musician, singer, and songwriter will continue to live on through the timeless music he created with Maze. Peter Renaudé was born Pierre Laurent Renaudet on June 9, 1935 in New Iberia, Louisiana. His voice would become iconic in American pop culture across his six-decade career. Renaudet's versatility as a character actor allowed him to appear in over 200 TV and film roles as well as radio stage productions and video games. One of his most beloved performances came from the animated world as he voiced Splinter in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Fans of the show knew him as Master Splinter the Wise and caring mentor to the Turtles. Renaday's voice could also be heard in Disney theme parks, voicing Abraham Lincoln in the Hall of Presidents, and characters like Henry and Max in the Country Bear Jamboree at Magic Kingdom. Renaday's work spanned generations and mediums, and his impact on animation and voice acting was felt by audiences worldwide. His talents and passion for his craft left an unforgettable legacy that continues to be cherished by fans of all ages. Peter Renaday passed away on September 8, 2024 at the age of 89 in Burbank, California. His voice and performances will remain immortalized in the hearts of many. Alan Ray Aldridge Jr. was born on May 30, 1972 in Houston, Texas. His journey to the NFL began with a standout college career at the University of Houston, where he played for the Cougars. In 1994, he was selected by the Denver Broncos in the second round of the NFL Draft. Aldridge quickly made an impact on the field with his versatility as both a linebacker and long snapper. During his time with the Broncos from 1994 to 1997, he was part of the team that won Super Bowl XXI against the Green Bay Packers. His contributions to the team were vital in securing that championship. After his successful stint with the Broncos, Aldridge continued his career with the Detroit Lions from 1998 to 2001, and briefly with the Houston Texans in 2002. Over his career, he amassed impressive statistics, including 482 tackles and 10.5 sacks. Alan Aldridge passed away on September 8, 2024, at the age of 52 in his hometown of Houston, Texas. His legacy in football is marked by his dedication and the memorable moments he brought to the game. Pat Sajak is a household name known for his iconic role as the host of Wheel of Fortune. Born on October 26, 1946, Sajak began his career as a disc jockey before transitioning into television. His journey started with various television appearances and hosting roles on shows like Days of Our Lives and Rugrats. From 1989 to 1990, he hosted a late-night talk show on CBS and became a familiar face on CNN's Larry King Live and Live with Regis and Kelly. Sajak's most significant achievement came with Wheel of Fortune, where he has been the host since 1981. His charismatic presence and quick wit helped the show become a television staple. 
The show's success contributed to Sajak's longevity in the industry, as he became synonymous with the popular game show. Over the years, Sajak has received numerous awards and accolades for his work, including multiple Daytime Emmy Awards. His contributions to television have solidified his status as a beloved television personality. In recent years, Sajak has expanded his horizons beyond television. He has served as an external director for conservative publishing house Eagle Publishing and written for National Review Online and Rico Chetko. He has also created several puzzle games including Lucky Letters in collaboration with puzzle developer David L. Hoyt. As of 2021, Sajak has been credited as a consulting producer for Wheel of Fortune and continues to host primetime celebrity Wheel of Fortune on ABC alongside Vanna White. Despite facing health challenges in 2024, Sajak remains active and engaged in his career. For more updates on Pat Sajak's life and career, be sure to subscribe and like for the latest news and exclusive content.